that we are making. Uh, some problems could have much more complex assumptions. They could assume that we're going to get so much this month and then so much the month after. And we'd have to figure out what the cash flow would be in relation to the sales we make on account. In this case, we're going to say that we received all of that in July. And then in August, we're going to receive everything that we sold on uh, in, in July. And then in September, we're going to receive everything we sold in August on account. That's the assumption we're making. Then we can figure out the cash flow for these months. Then we can add them up. This is the cash sales. This is what we received on account. We didn't make the sales this time. We got the sales from the last time. That's where we're getting our cash receipts. That's what we got this month. These are on account. There's our cash receipts and so on and so forth. And then we can use these numbers to plug into our cash budget. All right, so cash budget. We're going to start off with a cash balance that we started with. That's going to be the 40000 We're going to get that from the balance sheet from the prior period. So this is the balance sheet from the prior period. We had 40000 to begin with. So there's the 40000 And then we're going to add to that the cash receipts from customers. And, of course, we just calculated that. The cash receipts from customers in July was the 495.68 that we just calculated. So there's that number. And there's our total cash receipts. So we got the 40 plus the 495.68 total cash receipts.